OK, so in this video, we're going to look at a worded problem. Um, now that we've gained a few more skills, uh, we've got the lifetime of a type of light bulb is known to be normally distributed. 35% last less than 90 days, while 15% last more than 105 days. Find, first of all, the mean and standard deviation of the lifetime of these light bulbs. OK, so at the moment, we know that x is normally distributed, but we don't know the mean and we don't know the standard deviation or variance. OK, so in a similar way to uh, the previous video, we're going to need to work those out using simultaneous equations. So let's draw a diagram to see what we've got. There's the mean. We know that 35% uh, last, the last uh, less than 90 days. So 35% last less than 90 days. And I also know that 15% last more than 105 days. So there's my 15% lasting more than 105 days. So what I want to do is I want to utilize the z equals x minus mu over sigma formula here, OK, to find uh, the two z values that I need. So for this first z value, I need to find the inverse norm of 0.35. OK, so I go on to menu and then number 7 and then inverse normal, number 3. The error is 0.35. Uh, sigma is 1, mu is 0, because I don't know what they are for the original distribution. So I need to work with the standard normal here. So that gets me minus 0 0.38532. I'm going to go to five decimal places, because I'm doing quite a number of calculations here. So I want to make sure it's as accurate as possible. So I'm going to go to five decimal places for these. That's my z value. So minus 0 0.38532 is equal to x, which is 90, take away the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So rearranging, I can multiply it by the sigma, add the mu, so mu take 0 0.38532 sigma is equal to 90. And this is equation number one. So now I need to utilize the second bit of information. Now, if I know that 15% is greater than 105, then I also know that 85% has got to be less. So I need to look up the inverse norm of 0 0.85, because your calculator can only work with errors to the left. So the error is 0 0.85. Uh, sigma's 1 and mu is 0 again. So we get 1.03643 to five decimal places. OK, so that's my z value. And x is the 105. Take away the mean divided by the standard deviation. So rearranging, multiply it by the sigma and add the mu to both sides. And that gives me equation number two. Oh, there's the sigma. OK. Right, so now I want to do simultaneous equations on these. So I could work with an algebraic approach. I'm going to go straight in with the calculator. So going to menu and then A, and then we want number one for simultaneous equations, two unknowns. So I'm going to treat the mu as the x and the sigma as the y. So I'm going to have 1x uh, minus 0.38532y equals 90. And then I've got one lot of x plus 1.03643y uh, is equal to 105. And then I get my mu, or x, as 94.065 to three decimal places. And the y value, the sigma, as 10.550. Okay, so they are the mu and the sigma for this problem. So that's what I now need to utilize to solve the remaining two problems. Okay. 
Right, so now I can go in and say, right, well, if the probability, I want to find the probability of a light bulb lasting longer than 13 weeks. So 13 weeks, okay, because everything else is in days. So 13 lots of 7 is 91 days. So I want to find the probability of x being greater than 91 days. Okay? So that's effectively on my diagram going 91, and I want to find that probability, that area. So on my calculator, I can go to menu, then number 7, and then I want normal CD. Okay? The lower will be the 91. The upper is far enough away um, so that I don't have to worry about it being too close. So 10 standard deviations, so let's say 100 away, so 191 seems reasonable. I'm just going to put in 200. And the sigma is 10.550, and the mu is 94.065. And so I get 0.614. To three decimal places there. Okay? So 0.614 is my probability. Then for C, the number of days the worst 1% will last until. So that is the bottom 1%. What is the X value that goes with it? So I want to look up the inverse norm of the 1%. Okay, that's the area that I'm looking up. Okay, now I can type that directly into my calculator now. Um, going on to number 7, going on to the inverse normal number 3. The area is 0 0.01. My calculator saved the sigma and mu from before, which is great. So I can just press equals, and it's 69.522. So 69 or 70 days to the nearest day. So the worst performing 1% last uh, less than 70 days.